Scientists have studied and tagged sharks for decades in an effort to understand their mysterious behavior. However, the robot experts were shocked when one of their research subjects completely vanished. The healthy nine-foot great white had been tagged by researchers to keep track of its movements for a study. However, four months later, the black box washed up on a beach in Australia. According to the device's data, there was a sudden sharp 1,902 foot drop and a rapid rise in temperature from 7.6 Celsius to 25.5 Celsius. The temperatures that were recorded indicate that the shark entered another animal's digestive system. According to the researchers who believe that the data demonstrated that it was eaten by something much larger, the Smithsonian Institute's hunt for the super predator, which was inspired by an earlier Australian film called The Search for the Ocean Super Predator went into great detail about the case. In 2014, filmmaker Dave Riggs stated, when I was first told about the data that came back from the tag that was on the shark, I was absolutely blown away. The question that not only came to my mind, but everyone's mind who was involved was what did that? It was obviously eaten. What's going to eat a shark that big? What could kill a nine foot great white? Scientists appear to be able to put an end to bizarre plots involving a massive sea monster, but what is responsible is just as shocking. The baffling cases investigators described it as a colossal cannibal great white shark. They were finally able to guess the identity of the enigmatic killer. Only after further investigation of the migration patterns of the great whites that entered the region where the nine-footer was killed. The researchers asserted that all of the tracking data from the lost shark matched the results of their research. Both of these great whites were migrating at the same temperature. And the cannibal great white shark, which is estimated to be 16 feet in length and weighs more than two tons, could easily achieve the same speed and trajectory as the tracking device. Experts offered theories about how a larger shark might have been attacked, which would explain why a smaller shark would become a meal. They speculated that it might have been an attack brought on by hunger or a territorial dispute. However, in the end, they settled on a response that is difficult to dispute. Small sharks are eaten by big sharks. Experts have grown increasingly concerned about the possibility of the great white shark going extinct. With the extinction of the apex predators, they claim, the Atlantic Ocean's environment would collapse due to a decrease in sea otters that consume the urchins. California's underwater kelp forests have almost disappeared as a result of an increase in kelp-eating urchins. This is putting the area's natural food chain in jeopardy, which could collapse completely if great whites don't have any prey to eat. In 2019, Jacksonville University doctoral professor Brian Franks stated, you would lose stability, but there are so many variables involved that it's hard to predict. Their prey would increase, resulting in the extinction of that third level species, but this is difficult to model. The otters, urchins, and kelp are the classic examples. Let's move to the second part of our video. This is how sperm whales sleep. Why they sleep like this? Whale need oxygen to survive in the ocean. They are unlike sharks in the fact that they don't have gills that allow them to stay submerged. This means whales need to surface every so often to replenish their oxygen supply. So it makes sense that while they are sleeping, it's best to be as close to the surface as possible so that they can pop up for a fresh breath when they need to. Sperm whales have one of the most remarkable sets of lungs in the marine kingdom. Their huge lungs allow them to dive down to depths of 2,250 meters and the air in the lungs are squished to one-fourth of the volume that it was on the surface. A sperm whale can spend around 90 minutes underwater before it has to come back to the surface to breathe. This not only allows them to dive to the depths to hunt for prey, but also means they can hold their breath while sleeping too. Sperm whales will hold their breath while they sleep, as they simply don't have the requirement to keep breathing while they are asleep, as they can store a lot of oxygen in those big lungs. But that's not the only reason why sperm whales sleep vertically. This sleeping position also allows them to stay alert to potential predators. Orcas are the largest natural threat to sperm whales, but false killer whales and pilot whales are also known to hunt sperm whales. This means that they have to stay awake while sleeping, but it doesn't make sense, right? The thing is, that's exactly what they do. Literally, just like dolphins, whale can keep half of their brain active while they sleep ensuring that they are alert, aware, 
and ready to move if a predator moves in too close. Sperm whale can sleep in a couple of interesting ways. They can sleep upright vertically like this, but they can also keep swimming while sleeping or sleep while floating at the surface, also known as logging. Sperm whales do not require the length of sleep that we humans do. This would have them in a bit of a pickle being as though their 90 minutes of oxygen wouldn't suffice for the eight hours we humans require. Thankfully, sperm whales only take naps usually for between 10 to 15 minutes at a time. This catnapping behavior allows them to benefit from a quick nap while still being able to stay submerged in the water and keep a lookout for predators. Research suggests that sperm whales spend around 7% of their day asleep and that they are one of the least sleep-dependent animals on the planet. The number one least sleep-dependent animals on the planet is giraffes. They almost never sleep for longer than five minutes of a stretch in the wild. I hope you liked this video. Please share it with your friends and family. Also, press the bell icon to never miss the update from our channel. Thank you.